Hey guys, how's it going? So I kind of wanted to show you what I do in my free time a lot. <laughs> well, I, what occupies my most of my free time. Um, you can see in front of you that I have an old photo album. This is very old. This is um, around the 50s and 60s. This particular album. Now these pages are empty obviously. But this particular album is around 50s and 60s. But um, you can see there's something all the way up to 1980. It looks like it stopped there. But uh, there's some photos in here from the 60s. In fact, the photo that I'm scanning right now is of my uncle. And that is his, uh, I think it's his 13th birthday. So we're talking about uh, mid-1950s. But anyway, um, so I have probably about... 20,000 photos in all to scan not only of my mom's side which is these books here but of my dad's side my dad's side actually has a lot more history um, as far as the photos go they go all the way back to the uh, I believe mid 1800s um, as, as early as photos uh, can possibly get in my eyes but um, so basically I just have my cheap laptop here that uh, uh, I just bought for like five bucks and I have my really nice V600 Epson scanner and I bought this specifically for restoring these photos because a lot of the photos especially the color ones here I got an example here a lot of the photos especially the color ones the color starts to wash out and the cameras at the time really did not uh, reproduce so this is 1968, really did not reproduce uh, color very well. I mean, that was just the cameras of the time. They were early color cameras. So what I basically do is uh, I restore the color to approximately where it was when the picture was actually taken. And it is approximate. Like you can see here, this is a, a redded, really red uh, photo here that most likely I'll be able to correct um, but I've got some really old photos here really old this is this is my aunt this is my aunt and this is my uncle Now my uncle was born in 1935 so he probably looks to be about I don't know maybe 10 12 there so and that's my grandma my uh, my uncle was in the army um, he was uh, a sergeant in the army, and there's some more army pictures and so on. But anyway, so I spend a lot of my time um, scanning and restoring these photos. My personal belief, and this is the only reason that I'm doing this, is the family history is very important. Whether it's good or bad, it's important to know your family history. And a fire or a tornado could take all of this stuff away. And there will be no way for me to be able to get a hold of this anymore. So what I do is I scan it to preserve it. And then I have a safe in my bedroom that uh, I put the actual digital copies in. So that if a tornado were to roll through here or a fire were to take out our home, those photos would still be safe. And those are important to me. Um, if you have any old family photos lying around and you think, oh, that's just not important, well, to you it may not be important, but to somebody else it might be. And we have a very large family, so I'm not doing this just for me, but uh, I'm doing this to send the photos to their rightful owners. You know, for example, um, you know, this is my cousin Kyleen here. Why would I want to keep this photo for myself? Why? After I've scanned it, I can send it to her. I mean, really, that's why I've got all these boxes here. And this is just a small portion of the boxes. You know, my my cousins, I don't have any aunt and uncles on that side anymore that are alive, so these will go to my cousins. Um, these are my grandparents' photos that uh, my mom's going to get. And this is just a small portion. I have much larger boxes. These are just what I'm working on at the time, what my wife will allow me to have on the table. So basically what I do is I take the photos and I scan them and if I don't know who they are what they are then they go in this box to have my aunt and my mom identify 
and then I will actually uh, make a note on all of the photos on the description uh, where they were taken who they are you know so on and so forth so that I can look at the photos and say okay that's where this was or that's where this was now I can't get all the information because even my mom can't identify uh, a lot of these my aunt can identify a lot of these so um, some of these unfortunately are just unknown but you know there's not much we can do about that but I've got extended family that's waiting on some of these and so I spend a lot of time I don't just scan them and send them on their way um, I actually scan them and restore them so that they look really good I'll open these up and paint and look you know I'm not trying to get them to be pristine but some real bad blemishes I'll get rid of those and um, I spent a lot of time like this one here has got a big old piece of tape over it so I will try to restore that area right there it's a lot of time and photo companies who do this stuff make a lot of money and I can see why and I've probably scanned oh I don't know probably two three thousand photos so far this is just a small portion so Anyway, yeah, that's a lot of my free time goes to doing this. I've got my little scanner station set up here, and I basically just scan uh, as I do other things around the home. Um, I don't just sit here and scan, because it takes a while to scan a photo. I've got it set at 1200 DPI, and, you know, it's going through its uh, quirks to get these looking as good as possible. So, yeah, so anyway, if anybody was curious as to that, it is a very time-consuming process so <laughs> if I were doing this for another family I would probably be uh, retired right now because there's so many photos and you have to think that uh, photo restoration companies make at least a couple of dollars each photo so anyway uh, so that's basically it I guess pretty cool